Okay, now we've got a very exciting uh, opportunity for anybody who just can't get enough of Michael's interferometry. I'm going to set it up uh, with the motor, like we did, like, suppose, for example, we're doing the, trying to get the wavelength of the laser light. So, here's our signal, bouncing up and down, bouncing up and down, and counting fringes, everything is great. Now what I'm going to do is this. I'm going to, <coughs> remember, this is the bar that if you push on it, it moves the mirror forward. So if I, if I don't use the micrometer to move the mirror forward, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get this copper rod. And the copper rod has two things. It's got a, a thermometer hooked up to it. Into this thermometer, it's 22.9 degrees centigrade. And it's also got some a conducting wire to this voltage source, so I can heat it up. So let's do this. So let's put this guy in here. Oh, I have a special tool, actually. Uh, where is it? Where's my special tool? Ah, I don't have my special tool. Okay. Uh, a special tool, it's the opposable thumb. I use the opposable thumb. I slip that in there. And now watch. If this bar changes length, we should see some, we should see some kind of a, a response here on this line. Maybe we can count fringes. I'm going to... There, I've zeroed it. So let's run a current through this bar. <coughs> As the bar expands, the temperature goes up. As the temperature goes up, the bar expands, and we'll get fringes. So, I'm going to turn on the power. Now the power is on. Now if you look at, at if you can see the, the counts, the beam and the, the oscilloscope trays. Isn't that beautiful? The temperature is slowly increasing, and we're seeing every time that goes up, the bar has got longer by a half a wavelength of red, red light. Now, when you're taking data, the best thing to do would be to just make a movie of it and then, and then digitize it after when you go home. Now, you can get temperature, you can get the change in length delta L as a function of temperature, delta T. So what you can, you can do is you can get delta L over L, it's proportional to delta T over T, and that constant of proportionality is the thermal coefficient of expansion of copper. It's an intrinsic quantity of copper, it's the same as its, its density. So it's really, it's really interesting. So we can do it when we do it very accurately with this. You can make your own sample as well because we've got samples of other metals. You can wrap them in heat shrink. You can set up this wire. This is really easy to do. So <clears throat> that's a very nice experiment. Okay, for the adventurous.